this is Sean. I'm back out here where we poured this driveway. And so we're adding a little stoop right here. Just something fairly simple to make getting in the house a little bit easier. And so interestingly, the story, the new story on this project came out recently. So I'll be linking that to this video as well. And we can talk about that. But this has been working 100% since we replaced it and it's solved for flooding problems. That door right there. Is that gonna work? <laughs> That'll be perfect. That's about where the other one was. Okay. This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are back out here where we did this concrete driveway. This was the driveway that was sloping in and flooding everything. And so we got this little step in here and then she wants to do a pullout right here as well. So we're adding that on. So I've got the mini Bobcat here. She basically wants to follow this grass line right here to the shrub and then boom right there. So that's what we're working on today.
that little machine is barely tall enough to load this big truck. So we got the curb here helping us out as well. Okay, wait. Oh no. Yeah, right there. That is some hard ground right there. Look at that. Man. <laughs> What's up, Ray? We won't be doing this next Monday. No, next Monday we'll be underwater. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I don't have a clue. Randy got, has got all our tanks ready for us, too. I ain't got but one down there. Okay. I got the rest of mine's already at the beach. Okay, cool. I ordered a new band for my pole spear last night. It's supposed to be here Wednesday. All right. You ever used a pole spear? No. Nope. Oh, man, that's fun. <laughs> you know, you just pull it back and hold it and let it go. Okay. It's got a rubber. You put the rubber right there. That's, that's you're going gonna to show me how to use it? Yeah, I'm going to. All right. He don't have a place at the beach. No, Randy does. Get a lot of paper for one. Right? Bottom. All he does. How you doing, Harvey? All right. All right, the concrete's on the ground and Ray's headed off back to the plant. We just had a bunch of fish stories that we were talking about.
out here finishing up this finish grading here and I've been racing, I didn't film it, I've been racing the thunderstorm that's bearing down on us right now. So it just started raining and the thunder's going crazy and the lightning's going crazy. Woo. So anyway, there you go, finished product. And I'm gonna talk about the news clip also at the end of this video. Here it comes. Riot Homes floorboards, they were all ripped up and this all happened because of flooding. The problem, a brand new driveway. It was higher than the foundation. To find a fix, the homeowner called Two Wants to Know's Kevin Kennedy. There's something about owning your own home. I wanted to move back into the area of town where I grew up. Patty Jessup buying this house back in 2015, a full renovation up next. I took it down to the studs on the inside. I redid all the plumbing, wiring, everything. Part of the makeover includes a new driveway. So I had an, an at an old asphalt driveway that was cracking really, really bad. The new driveway concrete, the job done in a few days. A few weeks later, there's a problem, a big wet problem. It started to rain really heavy and water started coming in the front room. The hardwood floors destroyed the culprit, this driveway built higher than the foundation, water getting inside the home. A lot of water. Patty immediately yeah. calling the contractor. He wouldn't call me back, he wouldn't email me back, he wouldn't text me back, he wouldn't do anything. Other concrete companies called. The news isn't good. We gotta dig it up. I was like, you're kidding. We've got to dig this up. He wasn't kidding. The entire driveway had to go or water would keep coming in. Not a good situation and that's why I called you hoping you could help me get him to do the right thing. While the old driveway is being dug up, we make calls to the previous guy who poured it. I'm on a fixed income and I just, you know, I can't afford to just throw, you know, another $8,000 down the drain. This case not exactly solved before the new driveway was in and dry, but the outcome has Patty smiling. Um, I'm very indebted to you. <laughs> And I'm very appreciative. I'm very appreciative to everybody standing in this yard right now helping me. Patty sent a refund check for $3,000. It won't cover the entire cost to pay for the new driveway, but it will go a long way. Relieved and grateful. And get her a little closer to having the home she dreams of. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know. Wow, look at that news story. That was pretty cool. And so when I first met this homeowner, she had looked me up and she was so distraught. She was having all kinds of flooding problems. Every time it rained, the, the previous contractor wouldn't call her back. She didn't know what to do. When I got out there, I was kind of hinting around about, can you call him back? Can you? She said, I, just, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to hear from him. I don't want him on my property. Nothing. And so I was, you know, I was fine with that. Let it go. So, but once we got a plan in, in place and me and the concrete crew were kind of taken over she was able she felt so relieved and she was really able to double down her efforts and refocus on getting that guy and so she contacted the news the news contacted him put some pressure on him to give her some money back so they were successful in getting some money back for her so that was definitely a a good thing and she's had that was like over over a year and almost a year and a half ago and since then, she had us back out there to do that little stoop and then that little pull out. And that just happened to co coincide with the news story coming out. So that fed well into this update video. And so I did want to talk really quickly about if you're coming in after somebody and trying to fix their problem, it doesn't matter if you can fix it or not. Once you take money from that customer, it's now your problem. And so a lot of commenters on that, that previous video where we did the job, they said, you should have just done this or just done that. And it was a waste to take the whole driveway out. But recall the driveway was higher than the slab and it was sloping into the slab, the house foundation. And so we could have put a channel drain in there and it probably would have worked for 99.9% .9 of the rains. But as soon as that channel drain got overwhelmed or got clogged, the house would flood again. 
And so I wasn't willing to take that, that risk, I guess you could call it. And so taking the driveway up, cutting the grade down, putting the driveway back where it was lower than the, the foundation, lower than the slab, and shedding away from the house. What that means is the heavier the rain, the more rain, the, the faster and harder it's going to flow away from the house instead of the opposite if we had left it. And so this was really the only solution that was going to be 100% because even if you get 99.9% .9 results, the house still floods. And so you haven't really achieved anything. So this is definitely a success story, even though it started out really, really bad for the homeowner. Everything's worked out really well since we went out there and, and replaced that driveway. So check out that previous video where we did the job and let me know what you think about this update video. Thanks for watching.